Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to make a quick and easy card inspired by Summer Nights. Hope you enjoy! So I started with a piece of card that's 7 by 5 inches, which is my finished card size. And I'm going to use some blending brushes and some Distress Oxides. So starting with Abandoned Coral, I'm going to put this in a stripe down the middle of the card. It's sort of off center a little bit so that I have one third of the card on the left that stays white. Once I've done that, I'm going to blend in some spice marmalade and I'm just putting a little bit of ink onto the brushes and then using very light pressure and I'm working in a circular motion. And that gives me this very subtle background, which is perfect for a summer card. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll add in some speckled egg on the top. And when you combine the speckled egg with the spice marmalade, you get this really beautiful bluey green at the top of the card, which looks gorgeous. And I'll just blend those inks together until I'm happy with my background. Now I just recently switched to using blending brushes for my Distress Oxides, but I still like the blending foams for my Distress Inks. Now once I'm happy with the background, I'm going to use a Newton's Nook stencil. This is a two-part stencil. It's called the Retro Sun and Palms, and I'm going to use the sun first. And using the same three colors, I'm going to blend over the top of the stencil. And I'm just concentrating on the outside of the stencil. And another great thing about using blending brushes is that they work really well on stencils. Sometimes when I use my blending foams on a stencil, I accidentally push too hard, but it's really easy to get the right amount of pressure with the blending brushes on a stencil. Now you can see my beautiful sunset and I'm going to use the second part of my stencil. Now you could put this right in the middle, but because I'm using a larger card base, I'm going to put it on each side and I'll ink my trees. Now I have seen this done with black ink, which looks great, but I'm going to use some vintage photo and some cracked pistachio distress oxides instead. And that will add a little bit of brightness to this beautiful summer card. And I'll just add the other two trees on the left there. And this is a big enough stencil that I didn't need to worry about masking off. I can just use my blending brushes and put the ink where I want it to go. Now, once I'm happy with the trees there, I can add in, there's three cute little seagulls that I'll add into the card as well. And I'll use some weathered wood distress oxide for those. And I'll put some on the right side of the card, just above the first palm tree. And then I'll add a few more onto the left side of the card as well. And because it's a bigger card, I think more birds is just what it needs. And you can see those beautiful stencils really make a beautiful summer card. So I'm going to use some post-it note tape here, and this will just mask off the bottom where my sand will be. And I prefer just ripping it uh, to get a jagged edge, but you could always cut it if you want more of a smooth sand look. And to go with these colors, I'm going to add in some Rusty Hinge Distress Oxide. And right underneath where I added the post-it note tape, there is a little bit of white showing. And you'll see that when I remove the tape, because I think it looks better if you have a little bit of white peeking through, but you'll see that shortly. Now, once I'm happy with that, I'll just add a little bit more of a dark sand color at the very bottom and that'll go with my trees as well so I'll add in some vintage photo distress oxide and I'll put that mostly along the bottom area there 
and then I'll blend the two colors together. And once I'm happy with the colors, I'll just remove that tape and you can see my beautiful sunset with a little bit of the white peeking through. Now you could leave the card like this if you prefer, but I'm just going to use a little bit of pencil crayon and add some details. So I'll just use a dark brown and add a little bit to those palm trees. And that helps, um, especially when you're using an ink blending brush and you can't be very specific with the, the color. I got a little bit of green on the top of the trunk, so I covered it with the brown. And I'm just adding in some details on the palm tree leaves as well. And you can see when you do that on your card, it just takes a few seconds, but it adds quite a little bit of detail, which looks great on the finished card. And I'm also going to add in some uh, bits of grass underneath the trees there. And you can see the finished card with all the detail, which looks perfect. Now you could leave it here if you like, but I'm just going to take it one step further and using the other side of that post-it note tape, I'm just going to mask off an area on the bottom where I can add in a little bit of water. And I'm using some Nouveau Glacier Paste. This is Frostbite. And I'm going to apply it along the bottom and then sort of pat it with my spatula. And that gives a little bit of uh, detail, which looks a lot like waves. And the neat thing about adding this a glacier paste is that it will react a little bit to the distress oxide underneath it. So you won't get a pure blue. It'll kind of pick up the color of the rusted, rusty hinge and vintage photo. So it makes the water look a bit more greeny blue and you'll see that in the finished card, which I really like the effect that you'll get. Now, once I'm happy with where the water is placed, I'm just going to run my spatula along the bottom of the card and that picks up any pieces that are hanging off. And then I'll remove that post-it note tape and clean it up if it needs it and put it aside to dry completely. Now, once it's dry, you get that beautiful water and the bottom of the card where the glacier paste was it is a bit wobbly, so it's a good idea to use some double-sided tape to adhere this to a card, and that will keep it nice and flat. So I'm adding it onto a five by seven inch card base, and then I'll just add an, a sentiment on the inside as well. Now the sentiment that I'm going to use is from the Newton's Nook set. This is called Summer Moments. And you could use this for a birthday card, but the sentiment I chose says, wishing you oceans of happiness. And now you can see the finished card with the beautiful sunset and the summer nights. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video inspiring. Be sure to subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day!